In this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest method of how you can get the duffel bag on any outfit in GTA 5 online after the new patch of 1.69. This method is solo and works on all consoles. Quickly, before the video starts, at 32,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving away some shark cards, and all you have to do to enter is drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and finally, just comment the word giveaway, and it's as simple as that. Anyway, on to the video. Alright, so to get started with this method, the first thing you're going to need is a terabyte, and you're going to go ahead and call it out through the interaction menu. So if you don't already own a terabyte, you are going to have to go ahead and purchase one. Yeah, once you've called it out, head over to it, and then head inside of it. Now, come onto the computer by hitting right on the d-pad. Now, click on client jobs, and you're going to start the robbery in progress. Once you've started that, come back onto the computer, and you're going to have to scroll through these cameras until you find the bank that is being robbed. It should be the closest bank to you, so once you do actually go ahead and find it, click A to enter the interior. And then once you've entered the interior, you can now back out of all of the cameras, and now exit your terabyte. From here, hop onto any vehicle, and you want to come over to that bank. It will be marked on your map in yellow. Instead of spending hours grinding these glitches, check out the quickest and safest modded accounts from damnmods.com. They have services for Xbox, PlayStation and also PC that come with a range of levels and money on them. You can also get an account boost so your existing account can have money or levels added straight to them. On top of that you can get modded outfits or even modded cars applied to your account. These guys have over 2300 reviews on their official Trustpilot page so you can be sure they are reliable and trusted. I will leave their link in the description and pinned comment. Also use the coupon code EVADEX to get up to $100 off your order. Once you have, go ahead and take out all of the cops outside, and then you're going to have to head inside and try and take out the juggernaut. So there will be one juggernaut in there, he is insanely powerful, so I did actually end up dying. Don't worry, you do actually have unlimited lives, so you can just keep on dying if you need. But you're going to need to go ahead and take out the people inside. Once you've taken out all of the enemies, you'll see the duffel bag drops on the floor, so you can go ahead and pick it up, and as you can see, we now have the duffel bag on our outfit. Now from here, get back onto your vehicle, and you're going to go ahead and lose the cops. So the easiest way to do this is just come onto any roof, and literally just sit here and wait. Once you do lose the cops, it's going to say deliver the gold to the drop off, which is marked in yellow, so head over there. For this, you are going to need any flying vehicle, as you're going to fly high above the drop off zone. Now, jump off your flying vehicle, open up your parachute, and you're going to land inside of the yellow circle. So, land exactly just like this. And now we've done correctly, you can now come over to any ammunition store. Once you arrive, go to the front desk, go to the parachute, go to parachute bags, and I'll go ahead and purchase number 26. Now also go ahead and equip it through your interaction menu. Now from here, get back onto your flying vehicle and come over to the mask store. Once you arrive, jump off of your flying vehicle and you're going to deploy your parachute and land inside of the mask store. So just like this. Now as soon as your character is standing up, spam right on the d-pad to enter the mask store. And I'll simply go ahead and save your outfit into any slot. So I'll save it here and call it Duffel. Now you can just back out, walk away and I'll equip the outfit through the interaction menu and there you go. We now have the duffel bag saved on our outfit. And it's really as simple as that, it literally took around 3 minutes to do. The only issue is you're not actually going to be able to change your outfit when you're wearing this. So as you see, if I go ahead and try to change my outfit, nothing actually happens. So what you need to do is take the easy way out through the pause menu. After that, the duffel bag will actually disappear on your outfit and you can go ahead and change your outfit. Now also as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can actually transfer this duffel bag to your other outfits without having to do the entire glitch again. 
to do this, you're going to want to equip any outfit that you actually want the duffel bag to be transferred onto. And go ahead and equip a parachute on it. It's because if for some reason I wasn't able to put a parachute. To fix this, you just need to come over to any clothing store and enter it. And then there you go, you're able to put your parachute on now. So I'll be using this white drawn outfit. Yeah, now from here, once you've gone that, you're going to go ahead and save this as an outfit into any slot. Equip the outfit with the duffel bag and now get onto your flying vehicle and fly high above the mouse store. Now just jump off of the vehicle and once you deploy your parachute, go ahead and equip the other outfit we just saved. And now you want to want to land into the mask store. Then spam right on the d-pad as your character stands up and then go ahead and save the outfit once again. Then just walk away and equip the outfit and there you go. You've now transferred this duffel bag to your other outfit as well. And the original outfit does also keep the duffel bag. And yeah, it's as simple as that. That's how you can get the duffel bag after the new patch of 1.69 in GTA 5. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Do be sure to drop a like and subscribe. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.